everyone and welcome back to 50 something budgets or welcome if you are new thank you for clicking on uh, another one of my videos um, in today's video I'm going to be stuffing my envelopes um, and my sinking funds and savings challenges for the second week of January I'm also just going to do a quick budget check-in for week one of January um, because I've had a bit of a disaster um, so not a disaster budget wise, just a disaster video wise. So um, if you remember, um, just between Christmas and New Year, if you watched one of my recent videos, um, I had an accident and smashed my iPhone screen. As you can see, it's uh, in a bit of a state. Um, so it's been fine, it's been working fine. Well, as well as it was working before I smashed it. Um, and then when I recorded my video, plenty of time yesterday with loads of exciting things to tell you, um, the, the video was corrupted. So it was going like this all the way through it. Um, so I couldn't use it, which was, I was so disappointed because I had such super things to tell you. We'd had a great week on the budget, but hey, these things happen. So I thought I'll just give you a quick overview um, of what happened um, and then we'll get on with the cash stuff in. Okay, so, and it was as well the first week that I've completed my um, book, my new budget planner from uh, Scottish Highlander on a budget. So that was a bit uh, disappointing as well because I was doing something a bit different. Um, so bills wise, everything was as expected. Um, my new life insurance came out earlier than I'd planned and my accident and sickness cover didn't come out until today, which is Friday, um, but they're all expected expenses, so there was nothing um, really different happened there. Income was ex as expected. I used a little bit of savings um, for some uh, soda stream bottles, excuse the dog barking in the background. Um, the last 15 pound of my husband's birthday fund got used on a top in the ceiling, go outdoors. And then there was a little bit of my spends came in because I bought some books on um, for my Kindle. The management plan came out as usual. Um, and then um, I did a £100 to my son's birthday in annual, £20 to emergency fund, uh, £10 went to medical and then 65 was variable, which was haircuts, my son's envelope and then um, that extra five I went to pet. Um, and that's because I used the voucher that was on Amazon from Amazon Shopper Panel for my Kindle books um, and I normally pay it to pet. So I paid for the books in full and I put the £5 into the pet fund. But the fabulous bit was what happened in the cash envelopes and the savings challenges. So, and I'd started using this new weekly check-in page. So I'm just going to bring it closer to the screen because I don't want to wobble everything. So, I haven't used a weekly check-in like this before, but I, what I wanted to focus on this year was keeping a bit better control of my variable expenses and how I was going to fund, uh, fund any unbudgeted expenses because they normally just come out of the account and then I've got less, less money to play with than I'd budgeted for. So I thought I need a bit, bit more on top of it this year. So food, I budgeted um, 100 but used £5 for the penny for the fiver challenge, so I had 95 and we spent £26 and 1p on food. So I had £68.99 left in the envelope. Household, um, I had 30 spent 8 on some Nick Wax cleaner and re-waterproofer. 12 10 in toiletries on a 3 for 2 at Boots on shampoo and conditioner. So I had 22 left in household and 7.90 left in toiletries. Fuel, we spent nearly all of it. That's cashless, so that 4.91 is left in the bank. 15 pound I'd set uh, aside, budgeted for for my son's school lunches, and he's not at school this week. Um, so I think I was just so used to doing the budget that I put the 15 pound in, so that was left over. Miscellaneous, uh, we spent. I got a big box of baubles, silver ball, silver and white baubles, because I have a, a silver and white tree in the living room and then I have a big coloured tree, you know, with all of your different coloured baubles and special baubles and things in the dining room. And I felt it was a bit sparse this year, so I got a big box of uh, baubles. I think there was like 40 of them, so for 125 reduced in Asda. 
um, and also bought some stamps. Um, and I had to pay 50p to use the ladies when I went to the lakes um, walking on New Year's Day. 50p! Dear me, talk about inflation. Um, so £4.06 spent in miscellaneous, left me 94 and then family fun, we didn't spend anything, so that got rolled over and I had no unbudgeted spends. So out of the £275 I'd allocated, I had 129.74 left over, which is just mind-boggling for us. I always watch um, other budgeters' videos and they're emptying their envelopes at the end of the week and I've got, oh, I've got £20 here and £10 here. <laughs> that never happens to me. So this is why I was so excited to do this video that's all gone wrong. Um, so if I go back to the budget, I'll show you what I did with that money. Okay, so um, some of it went in savings. So I added £60 to my 50 envelope challenge, which meant I was able to colour in 29 and 31. Um, I put 11.13 into the tropical challenge and also into um, Pammy, the penny pot as well. So she now has, if I can show this, sometimes it takes a while to come up. Come on, Pammy, do your thing. There you are, you can see I've got 5.85 in there. I did add the 70 pence I had in two peas left over from the penny challenge into there as well. Um, but because I had this change left over I was, and I had a £2 coin, I was able to complete the bag of £2 coins to pay in for the penny challenge. And then also I had enough 50p's to complete that one as well. So I've just got to nip to the bank tomorrow and pay them last five coin bags in. And then I'll be able to do a cash stuffing next week for that penny challenge. Okay. So all in all, I saved 132 13 in this first week of January, which I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with. Um, oh, and the other thing that I did with the money is I also rolled over um, some of it into family fun because my husband and son are at the football again next week. Uh, and it's £30 for the ticket and there's a bit of money for park and ride and a, a drink or something at half time. Because I will not be paying ten and a half quid for a hot dog and a little bag of chips for my son again. He'll have to have something before he goes. Okay, so there we are. That was the first week of January. So it was pretty successful. Okay, um, and then first week of, first week of, not February, second week of January. Um, rolled over um, 14.42. It's actually 14.36.60, but we'll just work on that one. Um so bills coming out are two Apple Cloud storage, Netflix, the new bill for my husband and son's gym, and then my, uh, that's actually accident sickness cover, not life cover. So I've got £139 in bills, leaving me 13.03. Not planning to use any sinking funds. Um, nothing going to debt. And then the um, I've got £50 to go into my annual sinking fund, which is again is funding my son's birthday. And then £90 in variable, which is made up of uh, £50 of haircuts, £40 in um, my pet uh, food and bits and bobs envelope. Um, so that's 140 leaving me 1163 And then usual in food, I've got £100. Um, household and toiletries, I'm rolling over that 22 and the 8 from last week. I'm actually budgeting £100 for fuel, and that's to put... Fuel in my husband's car for work, but also in our camper. £15 for school meals, because he is back at school this week. Um, £5 for miscellaneous, and then the usual £20 for my spending, because I get mine weekly. And then there's £50 for fun, because I've rolled over 30 um, and I'm adding 20 so they've got £50 for that football. So that's a total of £320 in variable expenses, leaves me £843. I'm putting £20 in my planner challenge, which is the one that's in this book. Um, £38 in my 50 envelope challenge and then £10 for my holiday. So if you remember that was Starry Nights and I've changed it to my holiday and there's a reason for that, which you'll see in a minute when I do the cash stuffing. So £68 to challenges leaves me £775. Okay, so quick whiz through there of um, last week's 
budget and then we'll get on with the cash stuffing. So here is the money in my elephants again as usual. So let's see how much we have got in here. I always struggle to get into this envelope. Ooh, it's running away from me. Okay, so I have in here, get it organised. Ooh, where is it? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20 pound notes, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So 358 pound to stuff this week. I always start with a lot in the first week and then it kind of decreases as I go through the month. Um, just making sure you can see that. Okay, right, so we'll start with Percy Pig. Here we go, so food is getting 100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in food. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 pound. So I'm hoping I'm gonna come under that again as well. So I've ex I have increased the budget, but that's just to give me a little bit of leeway. Um, because I was trying to do 80 pound and we were just getting nowhere near it. Um, household has got the 22 in it and I'm leaving that. Um, that's just rolled over from last week because that is the budget for the month. But I am actually going to take five pounds out of it um, to put into my Fiverr Friday. Okay, toiletries is rolled over from last week for the month, that's eight pound. Miscellaneous is getting its usual fiver. Go in there. Family fun is getting 20, oh, it's not getting 40, it's getting 20. So this should give them 50 pound. Um, so we've got 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50. Why have I got an extra fiver in there? 20, 30, 40, 50, 5. Mmm, now that's confusing. Why have I got 55? I've done something wrong there. I shall so sort it out later. I think actually I know. I think I know why that should be. But I'll leave it in there for the minute. But yeah, it's come back to me. Well, there shouldn't be an extra fiver in there. That should be £50. Um, and then that's it for Percy Pig. Okay, so let's move on to my annual sinking funds. So we're snowballing these. So the one that I'm filling at the moment is my son's birthday and that is getting 20, 40, 50 pound. Okay, so he will now have 100, uh, no, 50 in the bank. And then um, I keep my sinking funds in Chase. So he's got 50 pound in the bank. And he's got 20, 40, hang on, let's do that differently. Make me, let's just make my life easier, adding up. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 50, 70, 90, 200 pound he's got now. And the budget, or the goal I have for my son's birthday is 300. So I don't think we'll quite get it done by the end of January, um, but first week of Feb, that should be completed. Okay, so that's the only one I'm doing in here because I only concentrate on one at the minute. Okay, so that's that one. Then there's go money going into variable. So haircuts is getting 20, 40, 50 pound. Um, and then in here already, we've got 60. So we should have 110. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110. Fabulous. So my husband and son are getting the haircut next week and then that will probably, they might have a haircut at the end of January when my haircut is, but that actually is into February's budget. So there's plenty in there to keep us covered. And pet is getting 40, 20, 
40. So I think he should have um, 57, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56. Yeah, 56 pound he's got in there. So we've got the five pound I paid in last week and the 11 pound he already had. So 56. That goes in there. So that's really nearly enough for two sacks of food, but I am gonna try and get him a new um, bed to go inside his crate. Because the other one, you know, wash it that many times, it's a bit lumpy. Okay, um, and that is it, I think, for this week. Let me just double check. Yep, yeah, that's in everything in variable expenses. Okay, and then we'll go on to um, savings challenges. So we'll deal with this five pound first of all. So that is going into my fiver challenge because it's Friday, it's having a fiver. So, I'm going to try a bit of a darker blue this time. That one's a bit better, isn't it? You can see that one a bit clearer. That was those two filled in. I was going to use some of the fibres I had left over from last week's uh, budget to go in here, but I just wanted to get it in. I wanted to, to focus on um, getting some envelopes done on that 50 envelope challenge, because the sooner I finish it, the sooner I can start distributing it amongst my other savings priorities. So that's that one done. Um, we'll do the 50 envelope in a minute, but I'll just go through these ones. So this is my new um, kind of penny challenge. So this is, oh, excuse me, catching the wire. This is where I'm gonna put all my um, gold coins. So my two pound coins, my one pound coins, I'm gonna get um, marked off this tracker. So I had four pound left when I did at the end of week one. So I've marked that off on there and that's in this tin here. I don't know if you can see that in there. That's four pound in that one. And I wanted to keep that separate to Pammy because I will actually be using those coins for bus fare and things and swapping it out for fivers like I did last year. Okay, and I don't count Pammy apart from what's on the top of the bottle. Okay, so I need to do a monthly budget challenge. So that one has got £10 from last week and this week it's getting 20. So I've got 20, 30 in that one. And that needs to be marked off on the planner. So I think Jules at Scottish Highlander calls hers the monthly challenge and I call it the planner challenge. <laughs> but it is the same thing. So let's see what we're gonna do. We've got 20 pounds, so we'll do uh, Sammy on the sled, Willie behind the wall, and Saskia skiing. So 10, 15, 20. Okay, sign the kids off on there. And we'll just get back to be clever so I remember what the heck it is I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so the next one I'm doing um, is my holiday. So, as I said earlier, there's a bit of a change here. So I was using Starry Nights, this one, to mark off what my, the money I was saving towards my holiday uh, with the girls. So for clothes and bits and bobs and towards spending money. And I hadn't planned to use this tracker, um, but the one that I ordered right back in sort of middle of November never turned up. So I started using this one. And then it turned up between Christmas and New Year. Now I had um, informed the seller that I hadn't received it and she just automatically re refunded me. Um, wasn't gonna send a replacement due to the postal strikes and whatnot and sent me a replacement and then it turned up. So um, I messaged her to say, look, I'm happy to pay for it. I love the tracker, I'll keep it. How do you want me to send you the money back? Or do you want me to return the item? And she said, just keep it. I mean, how kind is that? She said, just keep it and use me again in the future. Um, but what I didn't realise when I ordered it is I thought it was just a tracker. Yeah, normal A6 tracker. But it's an envelope as well. Look at that. So I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with it. So what I'm going to do, um, and it's from Philly and Brit is where it's from. 
is I am actually going to transfer all of the money I've got already signed off on this one into um, into this one. So um, and then I'll just wipe this off and then I'll use it for something else because this was originally for our camping holiday. Um, so okay, so I've got that's the money I've got already, which is one hundred and thirty five. And then I'm putting um, ten pound in from this week's challenge, which gives me one hundred and forty five. And then I'm going to my spending envelope at the back of here and I'm going to put another 20 quid in out of here. OK, so I should have one hundred and sixty five. So I've got one hundred pound in chase and then I've got 20, 40, 50, 65, 165 to go in this envelope. Now, what colour am I going to colour it off with? Um, oh, 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 get in there, money. So, I think I'm going to have to do orange, aren't I? Because it's nice and summery holiday. So, this, this tracker's actually got bigger numbers on it than this tracker. Um, so, if I get... So, I've got 165 and I'm going to do the big numbers first. So, 35 is that one and then i've got another 35 there is that one and then there's another 35 at the bottom um, and then i've got 60 pound so there is a 30 there and there is a 30 there there we go so that's 165 in there now it's a lovely little tracker in the back little fella sunbathing um so yeah so that is 165 in there which is all for my uh, it's my part of the girls holiday uh, i actually think that there's no way i'm gonna spend 500 quid on a few bits of clothes and things i need so um it will just get uh, rolled over or i'll use it for something else okay so that's that one um, and then I seem to have too much money. Why have I got too much money? What haven't I done? I've done something and I can't think what it is that I've done. 20, 30, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm all at sixes and sevens, aren't I, today? I don't know what it is that I'm doing. Um, I've done my planner. I've done my 50 envelope. No, we haven't because this is my 50 envelope and I've done my holiday and I have um, and I'm trying to work out what it is that I haven't done. Um, I know what that was. That was for the other coins that I um, changed and I've just left it in my envelope. Um, yeah, that's what that was. It was for the other it was for the other coins. Oh, honestly. It's like organised chaos over here. So I've got 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, which is for envelope number 38 on my 50 envelope tracker. They're not, numbers are going down. I am determined to have this finished in February. Uh, 20, 35. 36, 37, 38, so that in February I can um, dispute that money and put it towards some of our savings goals. So there we are, it's getting ever so full that now, isn't it, with all the envelopes in there. Oh goodness, it's heavy. Okay, so that is everything done, I think. I just, oh gosh, knocking it over in my excitement. So I just need to... Colour in number 38 on here. Um, I'll do it with this pink. So there we go. So anything I've got left over, any notes that I've got left over um, at the end of this week's variable spending are going to go on this tracker. Okay, so it's one of the reasons I've left some of the smaller numbers so that if I've got a small amount, I can actually feel like I'm ticking something. Um, off on here as well so we're getting there um i'd like to be a thousand pounds saved by the end of um 
January, which means I need to find um, about another 55, 60 pound, because I'll do 39 and 40 next, so that's next week, week three, week four. And then I think I need about another 55 pound to get me to a thousand pound it on this um, challenge by the end of Jan. And then that just leaves me a bit um, to save. And then the other good news is, um, I had my annual review yesterday and the amount of bonus that I'm getting is going to be, hopefully, I still have to be sent off by the directors, a little bit more than I was actually expecting. So my um, my managers recommended I get my full bonus. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get my full bonus this year, even though I have actually had it every year for the last nine years that I've worked there. Um, yeah. So that was good news um, as well. So that will just be going towards our other saving challenges and things. Um, so I'm going to go get that the rest of that money changed um, so that I can do the cash stuffing for my penny challenge from last year's penny challenge because I'm going to have to go and spend that money at the weekend, which is not I'm not happy about. It's not how I wanted to spend my penny challenge money but I'm going to have to buy a new phone. Um, so even though I'm recording this on my work phone, my work phone doesn't have the storage capacity for apps and the things that I need. So I do need my own phone as well. So it's not how I wanted to spend the money, but you know, at least I've got the money to be able to put towards it. So um, have a great um, weekend. I will be, as I say, posting again uh, next week, which will be my... Um, Penny Challenge cast stuffing. Gosh, I am waffling on today, aren't I? Um, so anyway, have a great weekend and have a fantastic budget week next week. Do take care and I shall speak to you soon. Bye-bye.